Good morning, everyone. Today is day five here in Magdalena Bay, Mexico. <laughs> Look at these dogs here. What are you guys doing? They've been playing all morning. And if you know me, I'm an animal lover, so I always go to the dogs. <laughs> Today, Gabe and I are gonna get into this adventure. We're gonna go scalloping maybe, clamming, maybe find some octopus fish, spearfish, we're gonna do it all around the island. Today is just really an exploring day, so it's gonna be miscellaneous and we never know what we're gonna get into. Now I wanna give a huge shout out to Mag Bay Sport Fishing. The lodge, Toby, they've been great to us. We stayed at the lodge on the mainland and it was an amazing experience. The rest of the trip we're staying on this island right here, this little village, it's actually a fishing village, commercial fishing. and. It has been such a humbling experience. Every single person here is probably the sweetest human beings I've ever met on this earth. I'm gonna finish my coffee, we're gonna get breakfast, and then we're gonna be off to our adventure. See you guys out on the water. All right guys, Blue Gabe and I are sitting first class. We want the full experience here. We're going to our first spot. Not sure what we're doing. We're just gonna find out when we get there. Whoa, and the back door just opened. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> and I got that on the drone. <laughs> Not lose anything. <laughs> this right here is what I call an adventure. All right, we just got here to our destination and right now we're gonna look for octopus. All right, we're all geared up and ready to go. Gabe and I are such Floridians, we're freezing. This water is so cold. But to the locals here, they just go in board shorts and call it a day. We got a gear all ready, got socks on, and we're ready to go find some octopus. Yeah, no, it would be way too cold without a wetsuit. I got a hole in my wetsuit. It's leaking. Whew. It's cold. Octopus. Pulpo. 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 No way. We have all you got one. Gabe just speared a hell of it. Oh, we got an octopus. He is extremely strong. And he picked up a sea cucumber. Oh, he's strong. Thank you. That was cool. All right, so we saw one little octopus. I dove down, couldn't see it, gave the tool to Gabe. He dove down and it went under the rock and we lost the first one. I had to come back up here to get an extra weight. I'm extremely buoyant in this water. We're gonna go back in. How cool is 
that? Oh my god, don't bite me! Oh, he's gonna bite me. No, don't bite me. She's on my wrist. <laughs> Let me see her real quick. Look how wicked that is. One more? You see more? Oh my god. Let me see. Come here, I want to show you something. Come my head. <laughs> If he bites my head, <laughs> they're not as fast as I thought they would be. They're really cool. No, that was, was obviously. You see how they're biting each other? Males and females. Yeah. Right off the beach. I don't. Do we need more? You want more? Oh. Wow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I'll let that one live. Bus octopus? I'm good. Okay. I'm okay. Yes. That's a uh, plenty. Uh, a scallop? Yes. Okay. See. What are you doing? There's a hole in the bottom of the bag! <laughs> I'm trying to take my fins off. I don't know if he got out of that little tiny hole. I need to take my other fin off. <laughs> Look Wait. at him on my hand. Oh, oh no. Insanely strong. Let go of him? Don't lose him. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just had the most amazing time right off the beach. Woo! Right outside our lodge here, we have a bag full of octopus. We found a scallop and Gabe shot a halibut. This has been nothing but just absolutely incredible. There's no place I'd rather be than just right in the ocean. They're incredibly strong. Look at him just lifting up that rock right now. I'm just hoping he doesn't bite me. Can you can you put down the rocks, please? I'm trying to hold you. All right, guys, these past two days, yesterday, we went offshore and spearfished the whole day. We had an incredible experience with sea lions in the water and you can just see their behavior. They're very playful, but at the same time, very cautious of us. They had no idea what we even were in the water. My favorite part was when the seal picked up the little stick and it looked like he was holding a cigar in his mouth. But right now, like I said, in the ocean is just my happiest place and I'm just so, so happy to be here right now. We were only diving off the beach for maybe 25, half hour and just, we saw so much marine life. It's just absolutely incredible. Okay, so we're leaving the octopus spot now and now we're gonna go try to find some scallops. Pancho did point me out to a scallop when we were looking for octopus, so I grabbed that one. I think my GoPro was recording, I'm not sure. If it was, then you guys will see the footage. If not, obviously, there's no footage to be seen. So now we're taking this bumpy road and we're gonna go Try to get some scallops and halibut. So 
these right here are massive humpback whale bones that they have up on the beach here. Look at this. These are the jaws. And this is the head. This is insane. I spotted something red on the rocks. It's so bright. Oh, those are those. Yep, them are them things I seen at night. Kelly, I thought you were talking about that over there. What? Look on the rock. A lobster? What is that lobster? That's what I saw. Wait, come here. Oh, they're gonna go into the water. You, you grab and hold one of them. They know we're coming. It's okay, and yeah. Rock. Yeah. Rock. Rock. There are these insane, vibrant red crabs on these rocks. They see me coming and they're not too thrilled. Insane colors. <laughs> wow. Look how crystal clear the water is. Gabe saw something else on the rock over here. What a lot of people don't realize about lobsters is they completely shed their body. Oh, it's like purple. Yeah, so he comes completely out of this. Just like he just comes out of his body, perfect. All the legs, all the little spines, everything. I don't know how many times a year they do it though. It's just crazy how purple they are. But in real life, they're actually like red and black. Alright guys, we are all done scalloping. I have some major water in my ear right now, so I can't really hear that well. But check out this massive scallop that we have here. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and eat them. We're gonna clean them on the beach. But then tonight, we're cooking up this hawkfish that Gabe shot. It, it could be a world record, I don't know, but the people, the locals here who catch these hawkfish say it's a big one. Like, not little, medium, big. So we're gonna look it up when we get back home, when we have Wi-Fi and internet, and see if this could be a world record. If it is, that'd be really cool. But we're gonna eat that tonight at the restaurant. Pacho, who took us scalloping and to go catch octopus, his dad and himself are the ones who took Gabe and I lobstering the other day. And Gabe made an insane video, just absolutely humble, beautiful video where we catch the lobster and we went back to his dad's restaurant that he owns on the island here. And Gabe Phil just, it's such an amazing video. You guys have to watch it. It's gonna be a long video, but it's gonna be worth the watch. It's one of my favorite videos he's ever recorded. So be sure to check that out. Also, you guys, earlier in the trip, the first two days we went marlin fishing. Robert, the deer meat for dinner, hooked up to a beautiful marlin. Gabe and I were in the water spear fishing. We're trying to get a wahoo. I was there, it was incredible, and I can't wait to see the video. So make sure to check out Deer Reef for Dinner's video with the marlin he caught. We got insane underwater footage, and he's also gonna cook that for the villagers here on the island as well. So be sure to check out that video too. I'm ending this adventure right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last full day on the island before we head back to Florida. Thanks for watching, guys. 
Thanks for all the support and I'll see you guys on the next video.